I think Stroop does an incredible job of telling the story of the rhinos and what's happening here on the ground. Um, I actually ran into Susan briefly at the Ivory and Rhino Horn Burn in Kenya in April of 2016. So I saw them out filming, I knew it was happening, and to see the final product, she's just done an incredible job. I think it really can inform people of what's happening on the ground and, and why things are happening. And, and little things that are quite important, like, okay, so this many rhinos have died, died according to the census, but it's really more than that. It's really the babies as well, whether they're born or unborn, we were losing a lot more than what the census says. And the fact that, okay, the census numbers might say there's been less poachings, but there's less rhino. There's a lot less rhino. So, yeah, eventually there, there could be no poachings because there's just no rhino left. And that's important for people to understand that it's not just what the government might want you to hear or a social media post. It goes so much deeper than that. And I think she's done a great job at explaining that. And so now people can start asking deeper questions. You know, okay, so there's communities that are becoming poachers because they need the money. Why do they need the money? What can we do to help them so they don't need the money? You know, you've got to not put a band-aid on the problem and not deal with the problem necessarily after it happens. But let's get to the root of the problem and figure out where we can make a difference there. You know, I, and I think a lot of people are doing a lot of great work in different verticals. And you have to keep working on all of those simultaneously and it will make a difference. We just have to keep working from all angles.